Hey there folks, I'm Zerfall and welcome back to a fun time, cool baby family computer system let's play adventure. Today we're going to be playing of the 545 games included here, um, Chippendale 1, which is of course Chippendale Rescue Rangers from Disney, or as the Japanese title here says, Chippu to Deru no uh, Daisakusen or Chippendale's Mission. Um, this was published uh, right around the same time in uh, Japan and North America in 1990. Uh, and it made it to Europe in December of the following year. Wow, they had to wait almost two years to, to play this game. It's pretty cool. A little one or two player adventure. Uh, we can take Chipperdale or maybe Dale. Uh, the story we're not going to get much into here from reading it here, but... The rescue rangers are going on a mission to retrieve a missing kitten for a girl named Mandy. As Gadget goes on ahead to scout, uh, and Monterey Jack is sent to investigate the sightings of strange mechanical dog with Zipper, Chip and Dale proceed through the streets into the, a laboratory where they are attacked by a crazed robot. After defeating the robot, Fat Cat appears and reveals that Mandy's kitten was just a distraction so he could kidnap Gadget and force her to work for him. Fortunately, Gadget is able to contact Chip and Dale by building a wireless phone and sending a, a probably a walkie-talkie, um, and sending, considering the time period, sending a map to them via Carrier Pigeon, allowing them to navigate through treacherous landscapes and reach Fat Cat's casino where she's being held. After rescuing her, Gadget provides the chipmunks with a rocket that sends them towards Fat Cat's hideout so they can defeat him. So that's the full story. So this is us them being explained to how they are trying to save a kid. Now, it's a little bit Mario 2-esque in that you pick things up to throw them at enemies. And you select things here. Or, and you uh, collect. Got a, a bunch of collect em ups. But uh, if you're. I mean, we're not going to make it all the way through this game. Oh, we're uh, I'm not that great at the game. And if you're looking for a complete playthrough of this game. To, no? See what I mean? I got hit by a cactus already. Oh, jeez. That invincibility does not last very many frames. Um, if you're looking for a. Let's play. A full let's play this game. Uh, check out Bobo the Vulture's channel. Uh, Bean and Mysterious JG and Bobo uh, all had a good time playing this game. Although, towards the end, I don't know how good the time uh, was with some of the levels being a little bit cheap and whatnot. But uh, I want to check that out. Oh, jeez. These mechanical dogs. But, so right now we're making our way into that lab. Uh, it's got pretty. Even with these crappy controllers, it's got pretty smooth controls. How is this dog staying on the wire? Nope. Okay, this is a, like invis invincibility. We just want to run as fast as we can here. Alright, invincibility over. No going backwards in this game. Oh, right, you can hide in the box. This is where, uh. The idea from Metal Gear Solid was, uh, came from. <laughs> Nails Rescue Rangers. So get those two. I don't know the point of collecting these things even. I don't remember. I'm sure there's one of some kind. Oh! These don't, uh, go away. Can I jump down? Oh, yeah. You can't throw things directly up or whatnot. You'll need those for boss battles, I believe. Oh, man, that A mouse was too tricky for me. Despite Ooh, all the way back here. Pick this up to throw. See, anyways, as you can see, things are not going to be going so great for me. Uh, you know what? We'll use a continue up, but let's see if we can at least beat the first level. It's a little bit easier with a friend, I think. Some people might disagree that that is actually easier. Uh, part of it might just be getting used to the controls and memorizing enemy patterns and whatnot. So, what is there to say about this game other than if you enjoy platformers that are fun but not the most challenging, this is one that you probably want to check out. 
Like I said, I have problems with it, but most people do not. Um, and I think those problems are that I never... Ooh. I should not have had to take two hits from this guy. This is, this is baloney. I did not hit that dog! I remember as a kid, I used to get pretty far in this. I think it's just a matter of not playing the game for a while. Oh, that worked. Oh, interesting. And it just keeps coming, we just keep bringing it back. Oh man. Yeah, I'll be doing this. We can use anything else. Hmm. I never re I don't think I ever realized this was an option. The one thing is that I can't jump down while I'm doing that, but... Oh, I don't need to bring it with me. I don't know if that works with these, uh, these blocks. Yeah, okay, but the block flies away afterwards, okay. So you're for sure gonna hit an enemy if you do that, but... This one, because... Oh, but we have stack this one, though. I hit myself in the head with a block. <laughs> oh. As far as fighting the mice goes, I'm much more happy to just come up with one of these things if I can. Good enough. I was angry about something, he just took off. Alright. See? Punched a hole! Alright, so this one... Oh, oh, oh! Gotta just be careful to knock yourself out. It's interesting because... This boss could be so much worse. So on NES bosses, uh, they were hard to make big and animated. So that guy was really just a background image with a couple of sprites. Zone zero cleared, get ready, go! Yes, 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 yes. Ah, this is Fat Cat saying, <clears throat> I, uh, this was all a trick so that I could kidnap your girl. <laughs> is it Chip Chip's girl? So then we get to pick our, our route here. Uh, this is not going to end well. Come on, is there anything good in here? Nothing fun and secret? Let's take up the flowers. Whoa, I forgot about those guys. They're uh, really excited to see you. And it results in a mess for everyone. It's the most awkward enemy ever. Alright, so if you jump on these a couple times, you can turn off the faucet. For some reason, the faucet uh, loops around at the top. As is such. Uh, I mean, I think that it's just that they wanted to force you to have to actually use this mechanic. Not that it... And I mean, they put a little bit too many of these in. We, we get... Introduction to the mechanic, no problem. We need a third guy up here. Oh, I can't hide inside an apple, though. So this guy will come down to about your head level and then just shoot at you. Much less annoying than those little uh, overly set enemies. Oh no! Oh, I thought that was gonna be the fly guy. Oh wait, we got this one at us though. One up. 
Well, apparently a bomb is not treated any differently from any other. Oh, this time it's a pea. I don't remember what peas do. Oh yeah, these guys pretend. These guys are from like an episode where they pretended to be you. If you are playing with a friend, maybe you might get confused, but it's really not so hard for <laughs> the single player mode. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, so you can't even hit these guys, so you might as well just not try. So you see how there's no black background this time? That's because it's a regular sized boss, or a small sized boss. Easily killed. Um, and as such, they didn't need the background to be used to form the boss, so... They always managed to hit me right on the head of Okay. There we go. Figured it out. Nick of time. Who can find the star first? Is it going to be me, or is it going to be Chip? Oh, it was me. Okay, so she built a, apparently, mobile phone. Uh, it looks like a radio phone, and said, Hey guys, stuff's going down. Oh, she said we want to go to D next. Okay, so she's telling us where to go. Ah, uh, this is the tricky trick trap, guys. Jacks in the boxes. Now they are a slightly different shade. You can see it on this one right here on the right. The one on the top is a slightly different shade. He's going to start bouncing. It makes it a little easier to tell. They also have a little more shading to them, it seems. They look like one that Dale would be holding. These Jack in boxes are also uh, dudes. So I guess the other jacks were not in box. Somehow that oh he just went back down. What is this, this guy's deal? If you spin him fast enough, he goes away. Oh, I guess if you want to get past him, if he's spinning, and he's not going to be tipping. Flipping the ding rug at us. Oh, the bird is too tall. See how this works here. So you don't want to go back onto it. But if you take your time and actually land your attacks, oh, that one's already off. You just don't want to land on it. This one you have to land on, but then you can. Get back up. This game actually has a lot of interesting mechanics now that I think about it. Okay, he'll go away and come back. Oh, shoot, dominoes. Oh, that's easy to get around. Oh, missed that jump. Okay, let's let this guy do his little bounce. Oh, if they get off screen, they stop. Uh... This guy works out the time. Ooh, see? You can see them, but they can still get you if you're not careful. Uh, I've got no excuse on that one. Anyways, 
that's Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. Uh, it's got that little map like uh, Bionic Commando. I forgot to mention that. So there's a, a few different ways to play the game, and it's not the exact same every time, I suppose. She, maybe she tells you to go to different uh, areas and whatnot. It's a fun little Disney game. Um, and I suppose if I spent more than one PlayStation every couple of years playing it, I'd actually get good at it. I'm Zero Fall. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll be playing Chipdale 2.